Hey, Pastor Steve here, and I believe that I have a word from the Lord for you today. And that word is, what will it be? God wants to know what your choice is in this life. God is not a sovereign God where he's going to sit back and he's going to just throw the dice in your life and you'll, you'll have to do every single thing that he says. You know, God has given you a choice. You want some scripture to back that up? Check this out. Deuteronomy 30, 15 tells us this. Now listen, today I've given you a choice between life and death, between prosperity and disaster. That's right, God gives us a choice. In fact, he is so determined about this that he tells us this twice in the same chapter. Look at the 19th verse. Today I've given you the choice between life and death, between blessings and curses. Now I call on heaven and earth to witness the choice you make. Oh, that you would choose life so that you and your descendants might live. You know, God is actually wanting us to make the right choice here. He even tells us what it is, but he does not make us make that choice. It's important for us to recognize this, the fact that God will come down and he will work in our lives. He will enable us to be able to live a life of victory and of prosperity, but it's entirely up to you and whether or not that happens. So how do you make this choice? How do you live your life like this? Well, the beautiful thing is, is that the very next verse, verse 20 tells us this, you can make this choice by loving the Lord your God, obeying him, committing yourself firmly to him. This is the key to your life. And if you love and obey the Lord, you'll live along in the land the Lord has sworn to give your ancestors. If we, if we are committed to this, and if we follow what God tells us, if we keep our mind, our heart, our lives, our um, beings focused on what God wants us to be, then there's no way that we can possibly fail. You know, even earlier on in this chapter, God tells us this, this command I'm giving you today is not too difficult for you to understand, and it's not beyond your reach. You know, God has made it possible for every single one of us to make a choice. He hasn't taken it away from us, and he's put it right there, and it's all based off of our actions. It's all based off of the words that we say and the things that we believe in our hearts. Don't believe me? Check out the 14th verse. Now, this message is very close at hand. It's on your lips and it's in your heart so that you can obey it. So everything is entirely possible for us to be able to do. All we need to do is to plug into what God has in store for us, live a life of victory, prosperity, and success exactly the way that he has planned for us, or... We can always go out and we can just rebel, we can do our own thing, and we can completely fall into total disaster. But the choice is yours. Well, here's the word that I believe that the Lord has given to me for you today. I've given you a choice to choose between living or dying of prosperity or disaster. The choice will be made what you believe in your heart and what you say with your mouth. So what will it be? Life, prosperity, disaster, or death? You know, God's given us this choice. He's given us this opportunity to be able to go out and do something with the life that he's blessed you with. Why not do that? Well, I encourage you to share this on Facebook. You can even go to our webpage at awfg.today and see all the different messages that we have. I encourage you to leave a, leave a message on our blog. I'd love to hear from you. Well, God bless you and I hope to hear from you.